Hello everyone, my name is David Gunn and I'd like to welcome you to uh, my opinion segment which is called Issues and Answers and uh, this will be one of many segments that I plan to uh, produce for uh, Facebook, MySpace and some other uh, internet video outlets out there where I will discuss the issues of the day from a slightly different perspective at times. And today I would like to discuss the election of Barack Obama as the President of the United States. And uh, first of all, I would like to say that it was a wonderful, momentous occasion, uh, his uh, winning the election. And it's actually something that uh, as time went on, I thought I might not live to see. But I think it's a wonderful thing that I have now lived to see a uh, president of uh, somewhat African-American descent rise, through, rise to the throne of power of the most powerful nation in the world. It's a wonderful thing. It's a great step forward for the country uh, both politically spiritually and um, it means it has great implications for our society most of them being positive but the one thing that I do getting to the point of this transmission I do want to say that it does not signal the end of racism in America unfortunately and I don't want it to become almost like the cliche whenever we discuss racism the first thing someone says is oh some of my best friends are black I don't want it to become a cliche saying oh we led to the black president you know what more do you people want because um, like I said it was a momentous occasion but uh, unfortunately that uh, stubborn racism that's been in this country for centuries for, for longer than this country has actually even existed as a, a beneficial nation that those sentiments that bigotry it still does exist even today and uh, I got a first hand knowledge and experience of that when I went to my computer the morning after the election and I went to Yahoo News and I uh, clicked on Yahoo News and I read reports of racial incidents that had happened around the country on uh, I read this on November 5th the morning actually after the election and I'd like to uh, share a few of those incidents with you that happened in some pretty surprising places. Now you might think that in the Deep South things like that would happen and of course they did but would you imagine something like this happening in New York City where a nine-year-old boy says that he was attacked by a group of men with baseball bats shouting um, let's um, bust that nigger's head and that's New York City Okay, let me read a few other incidents for you. Let's see. Uh, racist graffiti was found in places including New York's Long Island where two dozen cars were spray painted. Kilgore, Texas where the local high school and, skate and a skate park were defaced. And La in the Los Angeles area where swastikas and racial slurs go back to Africa, uh, go back to Africa were uh, spray painted on sidewalks, houses, and cars. Now, New York's Long Island, uh, Los Angeles, those are not deep southern regions of our country. And uh, let's go on. Let's see. Crosses were burned in yards of Obama supporters in Hardwick, New Jersey, and in the Appalachian Township, Pennsylvania. Okay, let's see. Uh, black figures were hanged by nooses from trees on Mount Desert Island, Maine. Once again, not a deep southern region of our country. Let's see. Okay, in a Standish, Maine, a sign inside the Oak Hill General Store said, Osama Obama Shotgun Pool. Customers could sign up to bet $1 on a date when Obama would be killed. Stabbing, shooting, roadside bombs, they all count, the sign said. And uh, at the bottom of the marker was written, let's hope someone wins the pool. Okay, all right, and let's see. Now, North Carolina, four North Carolina State University students admitted writing anti-Obama comments in a tunnel designated for free speech and expression, including one that said, let's shoot that nigger in the head. Okay, and... 
And uh, now let's go to uh, Forest Hills, uh, a suburb of, Pits of, Pennsylvania, of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A black man said he found a note with a racial slur on the windshield of his car. And the note said, now that you voted for Obama, just watch your house. Uh, I don't really think I need to go on oh, with the incidents because they clearly paint a picture of a lot of disgruntled people at the election of Barack Obama. And uh, no one seems to be upset about his political affiliation as a Democrat. It does seem to stem from the color of his skin. So while I do believe this is a wonderful great thing to celebrate and you know we're all being so congratulatory of ourselves and patting ourselves on the back we do have to realize that though times are changing and this was a wonderful great step forward for the country it doesn't signal the end of racism all our ugliness all our bitterness and all our prejudice it's still there and I I'd like to believe that in the some point in my life I would live to see the fact live to see the time when it's not going to be there but uh, not so sure of that it's not going to dampen my celebration and the jubilance and the joy that I feel over living to see a man of African American descent become the ruler of basically the free world my joy is over overflowing it's something that I view with pride and just with emotion that I just can't, cannot explain and just can't express really, really in words. But I don't want that joy for any of us to overshadow the fact that the journey is not over. The work is not done. We must continue to fight racism we must continue to acknowledge that it exists in every form that it exists and but at the same time we must push onward and forward as I do believe that Mr. Obama is going to direct the country to do and try to and, and try to, to take us in a new different and better direction but Let's just not fool ourselves into thinking that it's all over because it's not all over. To me, it won't be all over until it's no big deal for a person of color to hold an office that high. To where no one even considers a person's color of skin uh, when voting for a person in an office of that, of that power and that capacity. And... <clears throat> to when I, as an African American, will be uh, greatly welcomed into anyone's family, no matter who in that family I date, whether I date the daughter, the son, or whatever, you know, well, that won't be a big thing, that won't be anything that raises eyebrows. When we have a world like that where race truly does not matter, then we can say that we're there. But unfortunately, we haven't come to the end of the journey yet in the fight against racism. I'm David Gunn, and this has been Issues and Answers. I'm going to post this video on Facebook, and in the future I will have an, intern, uh, an email address where you can always send your comments and thoughts and how you, or how you feel about this transmission. Uh, but for now, when I post it on my Facebook Facebook site, feel free to make comments on it. Thank you.